Hey Taurus, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy and I'm here to do a quick reading for you for Mercury Retrograde for the uh, wrap up of 2021. This is the last round of the Mercury Retrogrades. We have three a year, sometimes four depending on what's going on, but mostly it's three. This is the first time that Mercury uh, has retrograded in the house of Libra. Usually it retrogrades in the house of Scorpio, but uh, the retrograde will be throughout Scorpio season. Uh, well, through half of Scorpio season. So the retrograde energies, we're in the pre-shadow stages now. Uh, the meat and potatoes of the retrograde begins on the 27th. But with the pre-shadow stages starting now, the uh, meat and potatoes of the time frame, which is like till, I believe it's November, I mean till October something. October 20 something, I believe it is. And then we have the two-week shadow period, which leads up till the 1st of November. We will be in these Mercury retrograde energies until then the 1st of November. So this is going to be a general read for Taurus. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If you need a personal reading, feel free to uh, reach out to me. My information is in the box below. Shout out to all of you who are already 8th House Energy members. Thank you for your continued love and support. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when I post, which is usually weekly. All right. Mercury retrograde. Mercury is in the house of Libra. Okay, it, re it retrogrades in the house of Libra, the house of Libra. Libra is the house of partnerships of all sorts, whether it's business partnerships, marital partnerships, uh, um, friendships, uh, any type of partnership you can think of. It's just how you relate to people. Okay, if you're talking to anybody, doing anything with anybody that has to do with your Libra house. Libra also deals with legalities. Okay, the law. Uh, legal system, justice, all right? It deals with politics as well. The politics are the way justice is served, uh, the way justice is looked at and the way it's viewed. Um, so we're dealing with justice on the 3D realm, which talks about court proceedings. Uh, we're talking about all kinds of court proceedings. It could be you getting a, a ticket, you know, because you were in a minor fender bender or just a parking ticket and you got to pay that versus, you know, you... Uh, being the CEO of a company and you're in the midst of an acquisition or merger, you know, you could be, uh, you know, filling out uh, for business partnership, filling out a LLC paperwork. You could be getting married. You could be getting divorced. You could be uh, in court for child support. You could be in court for discrimination case. You could be in court for, you know, somebody tripped and fell in the grocery store and you have something to do with it, whether you're the person who tripped and fell or whether you're the lawyer, okay, uh, defending the company who was being sued by somebody who tripped and fell. You know, a lot of court cases going on. Also with Mercury um, in Libra, you know, um, this is, I believe, it's about been a year since uh, Justice Ruth Ga Ga Justice Ruth... <sighs> I, oh, my God. I had a Mercury retrograde brain fart. I've been saying her, Justice Ruth Bader. Okay, Ginsburg, I believe it is her name. Forgive me for not, you know, having a brain fart and not remember her name at this moment in time, but she died about a year ago. All right, Supreme Court Justice. So um, also you're going to be seeing, because Mercury's the communicator as far as, you know, news, there's going to be a lot of things in the news about people in court proceedings, uh, government in court proceedings, people suing the government because the government is, you know, taking these executive orders uh, to make sure that everybody takes a vaccine, which is like, you know, for some people that's outrageous, for some people they feel is justified. Uh, but, you know, you're going to see a lot about that in the court moving forward. You know, people suing the government is going down. Uh, also, what we're going to be seeing is people getting exonerated from cases. People serve time uh, for things they didn't commit, being exonerated and being awarded, you know, because, again, karma. We're dealing with karma um, as well with the justice, the House of Justice. So, you know, people being uh, given, you know, millions of dollars. I just saw something the other day back in my hometown. Uh, a gentleman served some time and he was exonerated because, I don't know if I'm using the right word, but at any rate, he uh, was falsely accused in certain time and got some money, got like a million dollars, over a million dollars. Um, so you may see that. And then on the flip side of things, if you were, say you were mugged and, you know, the person got away with some money, on a universal realm, these people are going to be judged as well. So we're all being judged on the spiritual realm, whether we're in legal proceedings in the 3D realm or not. Because, you know, Libra deals with justice. It deals with karma on the spiritual realm. So Mercury is basically the mailman. Mercury just delivers the facts to the universal realm, or Mercury is the lawyer who delivers the facts of what happened in a case, right? 
So the universal realm, they're looking at the case of like, thank you, Mercury, for, uh, you know, Taurus's file. Let me look in Taurus's file and see what happened with Taurus. What was going on with them? Okay, so Taurus did this. They didn't do that. Ah, uh, okay. So this is how Taurus gets down? Oh, okay. So, okay. All right, got it. Thank you, Mercury. So, and, and then we're being judged. This is how all of us are. But you're being judged in uh, your, uh, what house is it for you? One, two, three, four, five. Your sixth house. So your sixth house has to do with your discipline, your intestinal fortitude, your pets, uh, how you conduct yourself in the work environment, you know, your work ethic, okay? Uh, your health as well, how you've been taking care of yourself um, as far as your health. So these are the areas in which Mercury retrograde is going to be affecting you. Also, keep in mind, we're dealing with mercurial energies. So, you know, there's no uh, planets in the house of Virgo right now. Mars was there, but it's now in Libra. So Mars in the house of Libra as well as Mercury. Mars is going to make things a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more intensified. Okay, so maybe you may have some issues at the job, you know, with some colleagues or coworkers or things may get a little confrontational or intense. Okay, that could be the case. Um, but we're also dealing with the mercurial energies of the North Node in Gemini and uh, Lilith in Gemini. Now, Lilith is an energy that we feel when we're feeling rejected. It's also the energy of, you know, being sexually repressed um, and wanting to express yourself sexually, that wild, crazy ass, it could be dangerous side uh, of, of, of you, you know, of your emotions and your feelings, your moon. So, you know, uh, you know, the energies you feel when you're rejected, when you are uh, shunned, when you are disregarded, when people, you know, treat you unfairly. So that's the Lilith energy we're dealing with. That's in Gemini. And then the North Node is in Gemini as well. So for you, that is your second house. So we're dealing with energies of the second house and energies of the sixth house. So the second house deals with your self-value, your self-worth, your self-esteem. Um, and that has a lot to do with how people have treated you. Okay. Uh, also, we're dealing with your money-making opportunity. So, you know, the sixth and the second houses, they deal with your money in a certain circumstance. So, the sixth house deals with how you are at work, how you perform at work, your daily routines and tasks. Uh, and the second house deals with your money-making potential, how much money you could make. All right. So, we're also dealing with real estate as well. So, let's see what energies you may need to be aware of during this retrograde for you. All right. So, we have in reverse, spirit has a plan. It came out in reverse. So for some of you, you are not trusting in the divine energies. You're not trusting that you're going to receive your just due and your karma. So just as I explained to you how, um, you know, the house of Libra is the house of 3D justice as well as karmic justice, trust in, in, trust and be uh, assured that you are going to get your just due. Now, this could also represent that some of you may feel like you had to take things into your own hands because maybe you felt the legal system didn't do you right. Or maybe you felt like, you know, karma was not served and you wanted to be karma. Now, if you retaliated against someone, the universe is not going to do it because you've already taken care of it for them. So, you know, I don't know what side of the fence you're on. I don't know if you're somebody who took things into your own hands. Uh... But you didn't trust is what I'm feeling for those who took things into your own hands. For those of you who didn't and you're feeling about a bit dismayed, especially when we're talking about the second house, when we're talking about your self-worth, your self-esteem and things like that, that may have been attacked in some way, shape or form based on your, your routines and your habits and your daily performance, whether it's at work or with people around you. Uh, just know that the universe has got your back, whether you may feel that way or not. They're being judged, like I said, in a scenario where, you know, Somebody may have been mugged, right? And that person may have never gotten caught. But the universe is going to charge that person. Because we are all, all of our files are being pulled right now. Mercury's busy as hell. Bringing all the files to the universal energies. And they're looking at everything. So we're all about to get our karma. And with Mars there, Mars is going to um, accelerate things or make things more intense. Okay? Um, or make things, you know, decisions go a lot faster. It just adds fire. It adds more energy to whatever's going on. So 3 plus 5 is the number 8. The number 8 major arcana is the strength energy. So for some of you, you know, maybe you lost your temper or you lost your cool because maybe you didn't, you felt like you weren't getting your just due. You know, that is something that you may have to be held accountable for. For those of you who are frustrated and angry and you maintained your self-control because you felt like, okay, I know this shit is going to work out in some way, shape, or form in my favor, 
Now's your time, baby. It's going to work out in your in your favor. All right. So let's see what energies you need to embody to get through these Mercury retrograde energies. So like spirit has got your back when you feel like nobody else does or it seems like nobody's got you. Like I said, all of us are being judged for all the shit we've done. And so, you know, things may have gone down and maybe it looked like somebody didn't get caught or somebody got away with some shit. But trust and believe they did not get away with it because they are being judged. Maybe you may not see them get their just due. And maybe that might be part of the reason why you don't believe. But trust and believe all of us are getting our just due, whether it's good or bad. All right. So let's see what we got here. What energies do you need to embody to get through this uh, Mercury retrograde energy? Okay, we got expansion and growth. That's beautiful energy. Now, Jupiter's uh, going direct this month. Uh, did I get the date? Let me see if I got the date. It's either like the middle of the month, like the 14th, 15th, or 16th. Yeah, because Saturn goes, both Saturn and Jupiter are in the house of Aquarius. And they both go direct in October. Uh, Saturn goes direct first and then Jupiter. Or is it Jupiter that goes first? One is on the 9th and one is on the 14th. So forgive me for not knowing the exact date. But I feel like what's going to happen is when Jupiter goes direct is when things are going to start getting better for you. Because, you know, Jupiter deals with uh, good luck. You know, some people don't believe in luck, but good fortune. Uh, things going in your favor, things growing and expanding. So, you know, we're talking about your second house. So this could be your money situation, my boo, okay? Your money situation could be getting better, all right? But you may have to wait until, let, let me get the date for you. Let me get the date when um, Jupiter goes direct in Aquarius. So the planets today. It's either the 9th of October and then we have pre-shadow stages for that energy, too. Well, let me just get the exact date. So that way, you know, especially if you're holding on by a thread and you're like, damn, when is this shit going to give? It looks as though, okay, so Jupiter goes direct October 17th. So the pre-shadow stages for that energy begins the 17th of October. It begins like October 3rd. So you got one... Okay, so one, two, about two to three more weeks, okay? About a month on average. A month more, uh, especially if you're having financial difficulties. Maybe you have a difficulty finding a job. Maybe you had a job you don't like and you apply for another one and you're waiting to hear. Uh, maybe you have to be disciplined about something and it's hard for you to be disciplined because of whatever the energies are that are going on. Things are going to get better. Your, your luck is going to change for the better. Um, as soon as we get into this energy of Jupiter going direct, and Jupiter is going direct uh, on the uh, October 17th. But you're going to start feeling those energies about two weeks prior. So that's about October 3rd or so. Okay, so just hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on a little bit longer. But at least you have an idea of when the energy should start subsiding. You may even start feeling that sooner than that. Okay, but just hold out. Just, you know, spirit got a plan. Even though you may seem like it. It's working out for you. So things are still being tallied, okay? So this is why it's taking longer than normal. So also just keep in mind the regular stereotypical Mercury retrograde stuff. Uh, if you've cut off people who were karmic, remember right now we're all being served karma. So you do not want to take back any karmic partners that you've cut off. It's very important because what happens is they did you dirty, right? They either cut you off or you cut them off because they did you dirty. So they did you dirty. That's the one thing. So you're going to be exonerated for that in some way, or you're going to get justice due for that, okay? Because remember, we're all being tallied up. So you're going to get justice for that. But if this person happens to come back into your energy because of Mercury retrograde and you take them back, knowing that you should not, what's going to happen is this person's going to continue to do you dirty. So you're going to get that karma. And then on top of that, like if you're sleeping with this person or living with this person or sharing expenses with this person when the universe wants you to separate, whatever karma they got coming to them from doing you dirty and other people dirty, you're going to be subjected to that as well. A prime example of that could be, say, you had a lover and this lover didn't treat you right. They were cheating on you, doing you dirty. They got somebody else pregnant when they were married to you or whatever. So now y'all going through divorce proceedings right now, right? And um, Maybe, you know, because you're dealing with discipline, maybe this person comes back around and you're dealing with second house or you're dealing with money. So maybe your money is a little funny right now, but this person is coming back around. They got a lot of money and, um, you know, you don't really want to be with them, but you take them back because 
your financial is, is so your financial situation is so terrible that you don't trust the spirit has a plan for you and is going to work it out because it ain't you know it ain't happening right now so you take this person back what happens is this person going to do you dirty you may end up getting pregnant with this person and getting stuck with them and then their karma could be that they lose their money you see how that could be a, a terrible situation to be in? So be careful with these karmic people coming back towards you, okay? Whether it's a bullshit-ass job that you had to leave because they wasn't treating you right, but you're desperate for money, and you know you ain't supposed to be there, that type of situation too, okay? But, you know, just keep these things in mind. Uh, so, you know, people from the past, and if it's something that you're going to take back or somebody you're going to take back, you know, if you can prolong it till after uh, Halloween, when the Mercury retrograde energy subside you know, postpone it to then. If you can postpone a conversation till then or postpone making a decision to put any energy or effort into the situation until then, you know, feel free to do so. But if you, you can't, like say it's a contract, um, make sure you read it, especially if it's legally binding. Um, make sure you read it. If you're signing any, uh, you know, for real estate, because, you know, we're dealing with the second house that deals with real estate. If you're signing any, uh, you know, contracts for large ticket items, make sure you read, read, read the contract very well. Make sure you understand it in and out. If you need to hire a lawyer, hire a lawyer. Don't just sign it because, damn, I'm broke. I know this money's going to come in as soon as I sign this, but I ain't got enough money to get a lawyer. But, yo, I know, I know, I, mm -mm, don't do that. Try to read it. I mean, if you got desperate situations, just make sure you read everything, okay? And do what you got to do. Um, travel. If you have plans to travel, you know, between now and the end of Halloween and Halloween, make sure you just check your reservations, triple check them, check them the day before. You know, if you got a connecting flight, check your the gate that you're going to leave out for the connecting flight, you know, before you get on the original flight. And then once you land to connect, make sure you check it again. That gate could switch. Check your reservations for your hotels, your cars, whatever it is that you're doing for leisure and vacation and travel. Check that. Um. Be careful of road rage out here. People on the road bugging out, you know, going crazy for whatever reason because, you know, everybody's being judged. So, you know, but Mars is out here too. Mars is in the house of uh, Libra too. So, like I said, Mars accelerates things. People not going to be happy with some of the things that they get in dealt as far as the karma. So, they pissed off. So, just try to be cool. Um, I think that's it. Travel, contracts, people's uh, anger, people coming back from the past. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, Taurus, that's what I got for you. I, was, I tried to make it as quick as possible to get to the point. Um, if you need a personal reading, my information is in the box below. And I love you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for what you do. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. Later, Taurus.